I think the biggest thing, and this is going to be kind of weird, uh, coming, coming, uh, or a surprise probably, uh, it's 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 reading. Okay, uh, at the college level, what you have to have, unequivocally, is you have to have the academics before the athleticism. Now, it's very clear that certain people won't be able to play college football just due to physical limitations, like myself. And that's okay. That's perfectly fine. However, however, the best athlete in the world that cannot get into college is not a collegiate athlete. So the number one thing that clearly has to happen is academics. The number one factor in having a basis to at least be able to qualify for college and things of that nature is your reading level and your ability to have reading comprehension. So at the earliest possible age, parents, I would stay all over tracking what their reading levels are. Are they to grade level? Are they above grade level? And kids, read as much as you can. Anything. Anything and everything. Sports magazines, history articles, it really doesn't matter. But uh, reading cannot become a lost art and then people succeed in college. Now they can do great things in life and understand every technological thing that's out there. But the NCAA requires a 2.5 core GPA and that means you've got to be able to do well in math, science, English, and foreign language. By and large, those that can read and comprehend reading will be okay in all of those classes.